Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at Lincoln Hospital in the Bronx, New York City, where uh, little Davey, a.k.a. Vampire Dave, wants to fraud at a hospital. Why would he do that? I mean, it's against HIPAA to film at a hospital, you know, dumbass. So I would imagine this is why you got kicked out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It is a public hospital. So, let's take some photos. Some signs here. No loitering, police enforced. Let's see if they know the definition of loitering. Their police cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine American flags. I, I guess little Dracula Dave here doesn't believe in patients' rights or HIPAA or anything like that. Well, I guess that makes sense if you're uh, an unempathetic moron such as this guy, uh, because he has no empathy for anybody but himself. So let's continue on, shall we? You gotta turn that off, sir. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Let's usually how a conversation okay. start. All right. How are you? Yeah, but no one comes in the hospital and takes pictures, okay? Why not? Because no, um, we, we don't allow picture taking in the hospital. If you want, you can take pictures outside. Is this a private outside. hospital? No, but we don't allow it's recording hospital, and taking right? pictures. No, but... It's a public hospital, right? It's a public hospital, but... Is this a public know. lobby? Yes. Yeah, so I'm well within my rights. Um, what's the there's reason no you're coming in the hospital? There's no patient information out here. There's not even no patients. I'm asking you, what's your reason to come in the hospital? I'm doing a story. Well, not exactly, you moron. I mean, uh, this building can tell you to get out if they uh, warrant it. And guess what? It is warranted due to HIPAA and everything like that. So, yeah, you don't have the right to film in here because it's their building and they're protecting their patients. So you can make like a tree and leave, you freaking moron. Really? Yeah, and I'm gathering public information. Okay. Um, but there's no picture. From the lobby? No, no. Who are you working with? Myself. Yeah. Why? If I was working for CNN, it would be okay? No, but no. you have to show you have to show the ID. ID? They have to do I got to show ID to enter a public they hospital? They have to deal with public relations to do that. No, that's one way to do it. Yeah, but no, that's the only way to do it. Do I have a right to be here? Um, if you're seeking medical Wait, treatment. This is a public hospital, right? If you're seeking right? medical have a treatment. Right to be here? If you're seeking medical treatment. I pay taxes, sir. That's, it's a that's public no hospital. Problem. To that's fund no the problem. hospital. Okay. So yeah. what, what do you need now? I don't need anything from you. I'm going to take my pictures no, and then I'll be no on my way. there's no picture taken. There's no picture taken. Why? I'll call my sergeant. I'll let him come down and explain. Okay, cool. Oh, little Davy boy here is starting to turn into a giant, giant man child because he isn't going to get his way in this particular case. You know what? Why don't you just grow up and leave and bother other people? Why don't you go to the police department where a real frauditor would go? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's not exactly working out for frauditors these days in New York City. So I understand. So let's carry on. You didn't even introduce yourself. What's your name? Um, A2? Pardon me? What's your name? It's right here. It's right here, sir. It's kind of rude. No, it's not. It's right here. You can see it. I can see it. That doesn't mean I can read it. Okay. You, can would you read you, it? Can you, you read it? No. Would you mind okay, pronouncing it's hall, it? H-A-L-L. -L. Okay. Nice okay. To can meet you turn that off, sir? I was, thought he was waiting for your supervisor. Okay, but in the meantime, can you turn it off? I'm, I'm speaking to you nicely. I mean, there's no conflict anything i'm just explaining to you you're our coming off a little bit rude pardon me you're coming off a little bit rude um, i think that's your perception okay because i'm not being rude at all i'm just explaining our procedures and policy to you did they teach you to de-escalate of course well did they teach you to be a productive member of society at any time in your life 
Uh, no, you didn't learn that. No, you just learned how to be a uh, pathetic childlike pain in the ass of society. Oh, okay. That's why you're a frauditor. You just want to be a pathetic loser with no direction in life. So, therefore, you chose this uh, way of life. And, well, I just question uh, how far it will actually take you in life. You should utilize that. Please. It's, it's utilized to the fullest, Please. 100%. I'd appreciate that. How are you? There's no, there's literally, if you're, if you're talking about patients, right? There's literally nobody in here. It's just me. And I asked if the lobby was open before he even came in. He said yes. But the services are closed, but the lobby is open. So I'm gathering public information. It's a public hospital. If it's a private hospital, then I understand it's a public hospital. It's funded by tax dollars, right? There's, right? Nothing, um, there's nothing going on. Right, and I'm I, just taking pictures. No, there's gathering no information. picture taking in the hospital at all. Why not? At all. Got, that's just the policy of Is it like a law? Or? Maybe it's a private hospital where you can take pictures all you want. Well, but in the public, is, you can't. Oh, you have such sound, logical reasoning, uh, you dumbass. Uh, there are no patients here, so the laws don't apply. HIPAA doesn't apply if there are no patients. Well, HIPAA still stands even if there are no patients in there at that particular time because it's still a damn hospital where patients go, you bloody moron. You can't take pictures you can't. in public? You cannot. You can't take pictures no, in public? No, not in the hospital. Why? Outside, you can take as many as you want. I'm asking you to explain it to me why I can't. I just told you, I'm not it's just the policy and procedure of our hospital here. Maybe the other ones you can, but would, not here. Would you mind showing me the policy, please? Um, when my sergeant comes down, he can tell you, but I mean, do you, you know, is that all you're coming in here to do? Is that's it. Pictures? I was going to spend five minutes no. and I was on my way and then you stopped me. Yeah, because that's the wrong, this is the wrong place for that. Is, is it against the law? Um, it's against the policy and procedures here. Oh, okay. Okay? I understand. He understands, but he really doesn't care because, you know, he's of the creed, rights for me, but not for thee. So uh, let's just go ahead and skip to the point where the sergeant arrives and see what he has to say. A little longer than a few minutes later. Do I have a right to be here? Do I have a right to be in this hospital? I mean, uh, unless you're seeking medical uh, attention what you, what you, what you want to be The here? first thing I asked when I came is, is the lobby open to the public? Can I be here? Do I, do I, can I be in this lobby right now? Is it closed? No, the, the lobby might be open to the public, but at the same time, if you're doing something that's against the policy, so the officer has to, you I, know, notify you. I'm not breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if we tell you about the policy and then, the proper can way you, to do this. Do you have the policy then, printed out? Can I see the policy? Well, we could take you to the telecommunication, you know, and then now, uh, so they Are they available right them. now? I don't know if they're available. No, we have to contact not, them because, the yeah, we'll that's, the that's kind of late. If you want to do that, you could come back so we could. Can know, somebody give you pray? The Would somebody be able to pray in the lobby? Hmm? Can somebody pray? Can I pray in this lobby? No. What's the purpose of you to come to the lobby to pray? I mean, it's a hospital. I want to. If I wanted to pray, can I pray here? I mean, I don't see if you want to pray. You're working in the law. That's uh, you know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So but this, this freedom of religion this, yeah. and freedom of the press is yeah. both covered under yeah, the First but, Amendment. But this, Ooh, don't you just love the false equivocation fallacies, Davy? Uh, yeah, j yeah. There is freedom of the press, but that doesn't mean you have to go into a hospital and film everything in sight because you know that's a HIPAA violation right there and nobody's stopping you from praying that's not illegal in a hospital dude so you might want to rethink your damn argument because it is quite ignorant and here is why it's quite ignorant because a camera can accidentally capture uh, vital information about per a person's health that they don't want to get out in the public or anything like that while praying is more a bit of a harmless activity to appeal to their chosen deity to intervene in an action that might be happening, such as a uh, disease that might be affecting a loved one. So, you know, definitely a false equivocation right there. This is not, on a, this is not authorized like the way you're doing it. That's not authorized to do it like that. I, I'm confused because they're both 
They're both no, right. No, no, no. I'm just telling you about the policy. You know, know, the way they will allow you to do it, not just work, you know, and do, you know, but if I'm recording, not, camera, and stuff like that. What I'm saying is, so this is a public building, right? I have it's a right a to be here. At, this, at the same time, when you step in, we have patients here. Yeah, we no, have, I understand uh, that. People staff, so that's I'm not why here to record patients. There's no, there's no patients here. here. What you I'm saying know? is, if, if I'm not breaking the law, can I, can't I be here? Yeah, but I can just allow you to do that. But uh, I was on, know, I was going to take a picture of that and be on my way. These guys came in up here. They didn't even say hi, how you doing? It's straight up here, like mad aggressive. Oh, but baby. I'm not like because mainstream media. I'm just a small, small yeah, he's not journalist. Allowed, he's not allowed to do it like that. So right. we're not allowed press to come in there. Can I use your and pen? I just want to write down everybody's. I'll give it back. I promise. Eh? Can I use your pen? We're not allowed to give the press. Who is this guy? He's an officer. <laughs> He's excited. He's an I'm going to take out a pen and I'm going to write your names down. Let me guess. You're going to use that information to file a frivolous lawsuit later on. Uh, uh, I highly doubt that'll go anywhere, though. You can file all you want, but will it go through? Probably not. Can I walk around the emergency area and record? No, no, you can't. Why? It's publicly accessible and it's outside. Is there any way that you could give me the show me the policy? No, so if it's not illegal, I could do it. You know? If it's not illegal, I could do it, right? No, you cannot do it like that. It's not what you ask for you. But I'll, be, I'll, let, I'll let you go on this one. I'll be back. Yeah, Yo, security, thank you, man. God bless you. And there you go. The fraudster takes a massive walk of shame right out of the hospital. And he's going to have to go home and cry into his little pillow about not being able to film inside of a hospital or even violate patients' rights because he feels it's his own right to violate their rights. Oh, give me a break, you dumbass. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.